Hi, I'm Ricky, and this is On Track. and welcome to On Track. I'm your host, Ricky, and tonight I am with Jake Willis. Hey, Jake, how's it going? Hi, how do you do? Good, good. Welcome, thanks for coming and thanks for being here. Glad to be here. So let us know about like where you got your start. What got you into music? Um, well, when I was a kid, I got a radio and uh, I was listening to like the gospel stations. That's kind of turned me on. And then uh, Guns N' Roses came out. Nice. And I was like, that looks like a viable career option. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had a guitar and uh, traded my traded my comic book collection to get a guitar and started practicing for 16 hours a day and moved to Hollywood. That's awesome. But how old were you when you started that then? Uh, well, I got my first guitar when I was nine, and but I started taking it real serious about 12, 13, somewhere around there. Somewhere so the when did you play your first gig? Um, a few months after that. Yeah. Yeah. Were you loving it? Were you made for the stage, or were you a little bit nervous your first time? Um, well. There was a sort of uh, nervous energy that made the show fun, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, there's, awesome. there's a VHS tape somewhere in a box. Oh, nice. <laughs> We're going to have to dig that one up. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so Playing. other than um, guitar, I actually heard that you beatbox, too. Yeah, I beatbox, too, and, yeah. That's awesome. What made you get into that? Well, uh, that's kind of a story. I I was practicing obsessively for a long time, and... When I was, I went to Berklee College of Music eventually. I hopped around between schools, and while I was there, I hurt my arms, so I couldn't practice the guitar for a long time. But I was so used to, I'd have a guitar that I'd walk around with, so I'd be like walking around, like going to, like sitting in the back of English class, like blowing scales or like whatever, just you know, walking to the rain or the snow, or like whatever, just practicing all the time. So my hands were just used to doing something all the time, being busy. So once I couldn't do that anymore, I just started. To trying to find other things that I could practice, and I just found myself working on like Indian tabla syllables, and then that sort of worked towards trying to find beatboxing noises and things that, that I could so do, cool. just like nervous habits to walk around and practice on so I could be working on things. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. You definitely don't want to hear me beatbox it. Probably not. Go for it. <laughs> oh, I see you just brought it out, so now you have I to. I know. That's all I got. <laughs> that was pretty short. <laughs> So, right. in addition to like beatboxing and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, I can't. Bring it. <laughs> so, in addition to like beatboxing and guitar, is there any other like musical instruments you wanted to get into and just never got a chance? Or uh, I played I, when I was going when I was in college before I was doing this as a full time career because um, you know it was when I was more focusing on that side of it, I was piling up instruments and I studied ethnomusicology. Wow. So there's lots of different kinds of instruments. So I've got Bolivian charangos and, you know, Imbira Zadzimu from Zimbabwe and wow, all yeah. kinds of different kinds of instruments and was experimenting along those kind of lines for a long time with different sorts of instruments. And then as I started playing professionally and touring, um, well, at first being on the road, I could only have so much stuff in the vehicle with me at a time. And then just certain instruments just didn't lend themselves as well to playing by myself, which is what I have to do. Like, you know, just ukulele by myself. Ding, 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 right. ding, ding, ding. It didn't really, it wasn't as effective. And the, the guitar is just the thing that, you know, I've obviously spent the most time yeah. with. So, so it looks like that. you got a, like a really broad background as far as like music goes. How does all that influence like your current music? Um, well, I mean, everything influences everything, you know, I guess. Yeah. I, I, I'm into a lot of different kinds of music. I mean, to the point that's probably a problem because the guys that I know that are the most effect, you know, successful do one thing very specifically and you can sum it up in like one word. It's like, oh, that's a folk singer, you know? And the things that I've been doing for a long time, I was using this flying V acoustic guitar and doing all these, and it was sort of like, it's punk rock sometimes and I'm doing like jazz songs and I'm doing like Brazilian songs and then I'm, you know, just like all over the place. Yeah. So um, lately I've been focusing on more blues things and soul things and kind of getting into that kind of world and um, this foot drum thing that I've been using is pretty new for me and that's kind of like a game changer. It's like, you know, it shifts the whole focus into this sort of one man band sort of world, yeah. you know, more and more. That's awesome. Well, I'm so excited to hear some of your music tonight yeah. and I'm sure you guys are as well. Rock. 
I got the key to the highway. Bill and bound to go home. We're gonna leave here running. Walking is most too slow. Said I'm going back to the border. Where I'm better known. Cause you haven't done nothing. Look what I found. Turn their curiosity into a lifelong love of learning. Create a curious reader. This is super bedtime reading. Share a book together today. Visit read.gov. Welcome back to On Track. I'm your host, Ricky, and I'm here tonight with Jake Willis. He just performed one of his hits, Key to the Highway. So, Jake, what is the key to the highway? Oh. <laughs> I'm just curious. I just got to know. Oh, well, it's like, you know the car keys probably man. probably yeah that'd, yeah that'd be smart <laughs> so Jake I noticed that you have a lot of different guitars and stuff like when you're yeah. playing on some of your one takes and stuff um, yeah which is this, the video series that I've been doing on uh, on Facebook and on YouTube I put videos out every week or two yeah. of a uh, it's like a live one take shot at some song or another and I'll you know, use an old vintage guitar on most of them, you know? Yeah, and I've seen a couple of them. They're awesome. Definitely tune into those. They're, they're really good. <laughs> yeah, look me up on Facebook. It's J-A-I-K, Jake Willis, which I guess is probably all over the segment with the yeah. writing and stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, if you look me up on Facebook and follow that thing, that series goes regularly, and there's live videos. That's awesome. So how many guitars do you have, Jake? It depends on what you call a guitar. Oh, man. How many guitars and maybe guitars do you have? I mean, it depends. Is, is a... Is a banjo a guitar? Yeah, sure. Okay, so if, then if, if it's loosely like guitar, then it's probably like 30 or something. Wow. Now, do you have like your favorites? You just kind of float in between with what you're yeah, feeling? Whatever's in my lap is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about the guitar you have. Is there any stories behind this Yeah, one? this one, I've, I haven't actually had that long. Um, this is, a, this is a, somewhere around 1952 uh, airline thin twin that was made by the K Company in Chicago, which in the 50s was like the, mo the most prolific guitar maker in probably the world. They, they made tons and tons of guitars, and this was like one of the professional models. And, uh, but it was sold through the Montgomery Wards catalog. And uh, like a lot of the blues singers at the time were getting their guitars through the Sears catalog, Montgomery Ward catalog, and stuff like that. So like Howlin' Wolf, so a famous Chicago blues singer, used one of these, and uh, uh, Jimmy Reed, and a bun bunch of cats like that. And, uh, it's just a, it's a very unique kind of guitar. There's, it came this is right when the first electric guitars were being produced and put out, um, like on the market. Was, this thing came out right with those, like the same time as the Les Paul and the Stratocaster. This thing came out right at the same time. But yeah. so it's kind of this. It's got a real unique sort of uh, you know it's not anymore. People are sort of copying old ideas of things, and at the time there's nothing to copy. So they, right. there's a lot of strange things that it does. It's a lot of weird design things with it. Like the whole body is hollow, but there's no holes like a normal hollow body would have but it, it's, it, it's hollow. And then the pickups in it are these, there's these giant magnets that are inside of the guitar hidden underneath here. And the pickups are set out of phase with each other, so they cancel frequencies. It's a very strange instrument, but I like it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's cool. And speaking of Chicago, you're actually doing a lot here in Chicago. Yeah. Um, you're around from this area. Yeah, I've been living in, in the city proper for about 11 years now. It's about when I moved back to Chicago from just, I was living on the road for years. 
I moved into a Ford Focus and traveled around the U.S. for two years. Uh, just a big, it wasn't supposed to be that. I didn't plan anything, but I got a gig in Oregon at, at Horning's Hideout and drove out there for it. Once I was there, then I found another gig somewhere else in Washington probably, and then somebody booked me in Montana, and then when I was in Montana, I went to the library and looked at something yes. else, and then it just kept going. Just and kept on two going years went past, out. and I was traveling around, and then uh, eventually uh, crash landed back in Chicago. That's and, awesome. Yeah, it was easier for me to get booked there. So, you know, make a living, which is what I'm out here trying to do. Yeah, well, we're excited to hear some more of your music. Up next, we're hearing In Between, Anything Possible, and Gasoline.
had a superstition Never said I wish Anything with one exception That I could wake up In my favorite comic book Even if I have one But maybe it's still good Anything's possible That is if I have some say Let me logical My head is always in the way Doesn't have to be plausible That I'm a star be hitting wave Cause anything possible Probably's are worth the chase Yeah, yeah, yeah When I turned 13, I sold my comic book collection To buy a guitar, was on a holy mission 1992, I up and moved to Hollywood Nothing ever happened, but maybe it still could Anything's possible, that is if I have some say Then let me be logical, my head is always in the way Doesn't have to be plausible, let me stop me anyway Cause anything possible is what you do if you're afraid Anything's possible, you can say impossible Or even improbable, man I'm unstoppable You can't burst this bubble When I turned, when I grew up, I was at least half as driven Took a show on the road, y'all I couldn't make a living Thought I found a girl, but it didn't go so good Nothing ever happened, well, who knows if it could But anything's possible, that is if I have some say Then there'll be lots of curl, my head is always in the way Doesn't have to be possible, then I'ma stop making me brave Cause anything's possible, anything is possible, but anything possible probably isn't worth the chase. There's a fire burning across the valley. So we went falling up the hills where we could breathe In the smoke and ruins of our plans Don't leave me out here, man That's how it's gotta go, I got your gasoline That's how it's gotta go, I got your gasoline In a buried bunker built below Chicago You came and captured me from my comfortable curse And you left your lover too That's what I was bound to do like a wicked mistress with addictive curves She's a wicked mistress, I'm addicted to her curves On stage, he was skewered by the press. Every note of the boss's breath was a reflection of frustration in your way. Just a reflection of frustration in your way. Made amazed among the mountains of snow that were climbed alone inside a motel room. And when he climbed so high, he couldn't. Saw your illusions blown up like balloons Saw your illusions blown up like balloons oh, oh. While we watched till your ride slide into an ocean Somewhere down there was your drowning dream As you went paddling for land I said don't leave me out here man That's how it's gotta go, I got your gasoline Oh, 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 yeah God damn that dream, I got your gasoline 
gasoline Cinderella found the pet that fits her perfectly and you can too share your heart share your love make a shelter pet part of your world happily ever after begins at the shelterpetproject.org Stop buying my girlfriend drinks, y'all. She's coming home with me. I can see y'all from the stage. And you can see that I'm busy. And I can see her getting nowhere. And she's getting sloppy. So stop buying my girlfriend drinks, dude. She's coming home with me. Yeah, you won't be the one who has to hold her hair. Yeah, you won't be the one trying to find her car out there. Yeah, you won't be the one to take her home To watch her pass out on the bathroom floor So stop buying my girlfriend drinks she don't need anymore Well, the first few shots you bought her Helped us go out tonight for free You saved her some money so she can spend it on me in the next few shots of bourbon, Hilter, forget your name. So stop buying my girlfriend drinks. She's, she says your pickup lines are lame. Yeah, you're wasting your time, and she's getting wasted. Don't mess with the top shelf stuff, she's too drunk to taste it. And I don't mind you trying, I know that girl looks fine. But she's seeing someone else, and by now she is half blind. So stop buying my girlfriend drinks, you're wasting your time. Yeah, you won't be the one who has to hold her hair. Yeah, you won't be the one trying to find her car out there. Yeah, you won't be the one to take her home. To watch her throw up all over your clean kitchen floor. So stop buying my girlfriend drinks she don't need anymore. Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms Sounds like a good time to me Food and Drug Administration Is what we do when we're through the whiskey yeah, Every day I await visitation From the Drug Enforcement Agency Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms Throw it upon an air for me All these federal agents Tire tracks all over my lawn My girlfriend always greets him at the front door And every time she tells him that I'm gone Yeah, but they know better than to trust a woman I know better than to hold more drugs than I can eat Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms Throw in a pot of air for me Woohoo! down these pills as quick as I can Flushing the swag down the toilet While my pit bulls are holding up the man While the cops come crashing through the door frame While I snort up the last of this PCP Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms Throwing up on an air for me Tripping out on the cop car lights I dosed the cop while he read my rights Keeps asking me if I understand Later on he's gonna eat my shrooms And everything else from the evidence room Make the DA walk away with empty hands Judge Evans gonna have to set me free Cause alcohol, tobacco, and firearms Throw in a pot of air for me Just for me, well Throw in a pot of air for me Just for me the throw in a party here for me. Welcome back to On Track. I'm your host, Ricky, and tonight I am with Jake Willis. 
Now we just heard my girlfriend drinks and ATF. My yeah. girlfriend drinks. Now I know there's a story behind that one. Yeah, I probably shouldn't tell it on camera though. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that story's in the song. <laughs> but uh, during the actual song, I heard you um, wailing out some pretty good keys on that. Uh, foot drum. Oh, the foot drum thing. Yeah. yeah, that's that's actually brand new for me. I've only had that for a couple few months here, and I'm just getting comfortable with it. It's a that is a workout. Yeah. It's a, there's a guy up in uh, in Traverse City, Michigan, named Pete Farmer that's making those. Um, it's they make them custom, and it's you know a long waiting period to get them, and um, but he makes them by hand, and it's they're it's it's not easy, but it's a lot of it's a lot of fun, and I kind of enjoy the challenge of it, and it's it's totally changed the gig of what I'm doing anymore. Like, it's really shifted my whole, you know, my show or whatever. Yeah, so how long have you had that one all together then? Uh, it's probably about three months now. Three months or so? Yeah. That's awesome. That and on ATF, you were really going on that thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, on, the AT on ATF, that's, uh, that one's hard. It, it's mostly just because it's, I mean, it's just, it's just constant, like, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So what inspired ATF? Um, well, I was, uh, I was at the Old Town School of Folk Music, and, and there's this cat uh, it's some, in, in a conversation with somebody, like, uh, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, like, the agency came up, and I was like, oh, that's, a, that's totally a song. <laughs> and I had a friend in, uh, in the suburbs of Chicago that got pretty similar to what the song story is, pretty much is something that happened to a friend of mine, and spun it into a song, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he got off fine, you know. Pretty much like the story went. The, <laughs> the uh, it was long, long enough ago, I can say that you know the his lawyer went golfing with the judge, and well, that's about the end of that. That's about it, huh? Probation. <laughs> so that's awesome. I love how you take from like not only your experiences but experiences of people around you and kind of put that into your music. That's really yeah. awesome. It makes you really unique too. Where can we find some more of you, your like your music and stuff? At a show. Yeah. Yeah. What's your next show around here? Well, I'm not sure when this is going to air, but uh, I mean it's constant. If you look on, on if you go on my Facebook on the Jake Willis Music on Facebook um, or JakeWillis.com again spelled wrong J A I K. Um, there's always shows. It's constant. I, mean, I did 300 shows in 2016. It's wow. just it's just constant. So you'll find something on there. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and we keep up with your one takes and stuff that you started doing. And yeah, totally. And I've kind of like my whole attitude with like recordings and stuff is is that it's like a 20th century medium to yeah. do CDs like when I was on the, on the way here I was listening to NPR and there was a story about Ford companies taking CD players out of their cars and they're gonna stop even doing them because they know that that's a 20th century medium and recorded music is it's changed like people want to see videos and for free on the internet they don't want nobody's gonna buy your your little record. You can spend sixty thousand dollars making it in some studio, but nobody's gonna buy that. They're gonna go check it out for free on, online. So, I'm not really focusing on. I mean, I would make another record like that, but I'm sort of focusing on just live, play live like it was before the twentieth century. You know, just get out there and play a lot and make videos and do stuff that you can put on the internet for fun for free. You know. Alrighty, Jake. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. It was great to see you. Great to get to know you. Yeah, you gotta come back out. sometime. Definitely. Yeah, happy to. Anytime. All right, thanks guys. This has been On Track. I'm your host, Ricky. We'll see you next week.